a lot of businesses don't want to hire blacks because in California because and New racist. York and other states, <laughs> they're afraid of being sued. Because they're racist. Joe Biden said he want to put blacks, Native American, I think that's the Indians, Latinos and women first. Is that bias against white men uh, to do that? No, what he is doing is he is trying to create balance and equity. Is that bias against white men to do that? No, white men have the, the automatic advantage, the automatic unearned advantage. If y'all wanted to hear more toxic DEI nonsense, then you came to the right place today. You are a diversity, equity, and inclusion leader. Can you explain to me what is that and how does that work? Yeah, so that means that, again, my focus, my, my learning laboratory is the workplace. So I roll into organizations and I ensure that black people, that people of color, that women, that gender minorities, that sexual minorities, that people with disabilities are being treated respectfully and appropriately and fairly within the context of the workplace. Protected categories are protected for a reason. And a lot of people are, you know, when people are actually keen on hiring folks from these demographics, because that's the first hurdle, a lot of organizations don't have any of these folks represented. If they actually do hire folks from, from underrepresented demographics, um, they'll, they'll a lot of people will hire and then tokenize, hire and then tell them to go sit down and shut up. We got you for the picture on the annual report. We got you for the picture on the website. Now don't contribute. And those microaggressions are not at all insignificant. Like people are, are, are you know, making stereotypes and talking about how people talk, how people dress, making, you know, making racial implications and comments, things that are inappropriate in the world, much less the workplace. So my job is to go in and I quantify, like I do metrics and my company is the only company that can actually quantify diversity, equity, and inclusion, and then create a metrics-based um, accountability system for making sure that we close the gap. So in other words, this woman leads businesses into going broke and her primary function, the main goal is to make sure that the darkest, most gay person gets the job. That's the agenda y'all and to meet this quota never mind if the person is qualified for the position or not because being good at your job is now less important than diversity amazing because black people and companies all across this country and all around the world are often having a very different experience from white people and companies and even if you just look at the organizational chart you often have the most diversity at the bottom of the pyramid and the higher up you go the more white and the more male the organization becomes. That's not always happening on purpose, but that fact limits the ability of black men and women and Hispanic men and women and queer men and women to have the opportunity to be successful, to thrive, to feed their families and to live into their best lives. So my job is to knock down those barriers and make sure that people are having an equitable experience. Amazing. Let's take a step back for a second and sort this out so we can fully grasp and understand her perspective. White male equals bad. Queer black woman equals the greatest thing on earth. More Lori Lightfoots, less Donald Trump's. Got it. That's what she was really thinking and wanted to say. And I bet she wants reparations too, but only for black people. Don't you dare bring up the fact that tons of white White men fought, died, and sacrificed their lives to abolish slavery in the United States, but you don't see all of us asking for uh, payments on their behalf, and I'm 25% West African, so I got ancestors on both sides. Technically, I could be double dipping with the cash flow, but I wouldn't because I recognize that none of us personally went through any of that stuff, nor does it negatively impact any of us today, and there's no white privilege. The white man is not holding anybody down, putting up these barriers to prevent anybody from feeding their families. If you're a legal United States citizen, you are blessed beyond words, and you need to have a whole lot more gratitude and a lot less whining and complaining so we can move forward. I know truckloads of businessmen and women, but mostly men around the country, that they don't want to hire black people, foreigners who have come here as well. They don't like hiring black people because the blacks are so much trouble. They are always complaining. They show up late. They think that everything is racism. Anytime you have to correct them. And so a lot of companies don't like hiring the blacks. And when they, when they get, they also are concerned that when they let them go, they're going to be sued for being called racist, right? Because the blacks think everything is racist. And so they are trying to avoid hiring black people. So if you don't correct the blacks, 
why would anybody want to be bothered with them? So ascribing those particular uh, attributes to black people only is super problematic because you get people of all all races in organizations who complain, who show up late, who don't do their job, who sue you when you mistreat them. So those are not characteristics of black people. But it's, what most, you're, it's, what you're, it's well and alive in the black folks, though. Well, it is well and alive in all folks. That yeah. is well and alive in all folks. Listen, I'm an organizational development specialist. I have a doctorate of management in organizational development. I'm in organizations all over the world, and I can tell you, that statistically speaking, all over the world, those are management issues that show up in all races, in all genders, and in all sexual orientations. They show up across the board. And what you're describing is your what you're describing is the conscious bias of ostensibly white people you're talking about who don't know how to communicate with, lead, manage, or interact with black people across differences and inspire the kind of behavior that they're looking for. You've got to actually create a culture of intention and decide how you want people to feel and experience their day-to-day -day work life. And if you can't create that sense of belonging, that sense of engagement, that sense of inspiration, then you are every bit as much culpable for how people are showing up in the workplace. I don't know about y'all, but people like this drive me nuts. I love them, I pray for them, but goodness gracious, they are so out of touch with reality that she doesn't even realize all she's doing is advertising her own personal bias. But just because you feel some kind of way, that doesn't give you the right to call everything that you don't like inherently discriminatory maybe there's a reason other than racism that prevented a company from hiring somebody did they have a prior criminal record did they previously get fired for failing to do their job do they need more education and experience to add value to that company maybe just maybe someone that looks different than them possesses those skills that the company's looking for they already have those and they should in fact get the job because the company's goal people forget this the companies are there to succeed seed and make more money along the way. That's why they created the business, but that doesn't fit the wokey woke inclusion narrative. So unfortunately it never gets mentioned. But why not train the blacks how to act rather you than that's it. what you're saying right now is illegal. Rather that's than illegal. putting rather than putting the responsibility on the owner of the company. No, that's what you just said is illegal. Why is you that? cannot train the blacks. Why not? That's not, you have, it, what, if you are offering training, you have to train everyone. You can't make assignments by race like that. There are, that there are, there, there are laws that protect against isolating groups for, for purposes like that. You can't do, that's like, you can't just hire people. You can't hire people because of their race, because of their gender. Well, no, I'm not talking about the company training them. Why don't mm -hmm. you, your job, want you switch your role rather than putting that responsibility on the companies? Why not train the blacks how to work? how to act at work that is that is an absurd notion oh is, why is hard to train them <laughs> oh my goodness only jlp could perfectly time that last part it was right on the money why can't we train them he didn't mean it in a degrading sense towards black people he's saying there's a job to do why can't the business train the people to do the job how they want it done efficiently and accordingly why do people got to always get in their feelings and get triggered and upset about that it just doesn't make sense but god bless jlp i love this man and i don't always agree with all of his views but when it comes to just sheer common common sense and pointing out stupidity he'll call bs no matter who it is no matter where it is now i have to talk about dr tiffany jana the woman that we just saw in that clip people like her always make the same fundamental error and that's that there's only one race the human race and i don't care how many degrees you got how much melanin content someone does or doesn't possess we all bleed the same color red when we get an owie and god almighty knitted us all together with equal importance when he included us in his plan for life here on earth Earth. And you may not like how that plan looks or how it's unfolded going back to the beginning of humanity with Adam and Eve, but none of us are God. None of us are all powerful and the creator of the universe. So folks need to remember that, repent of their sins and turn to what Christ instructs us to do in that Bible, the basic instructions before leaving earth. People need to stop constantly dividing and idolizing and uh, prioritizing people based on their complexion or their sexual sins like homosexuality and really come together.
together. That's when we can all truly become united and one in Jesus Christ. And I pray that that happens someday. But in the meantime, all we can do is put our complete faith in Jesus and love the Lord with all our heart, soul, and mind. Love our neighbors as ourselves. And that also requires telling them the truth when we see that they are clearly lost in darkness with Satan's lies. They are a bondage to sin and we need to help guide them to the narrow path that leads to salvation, which can only be found in Jesus Christ. Amen. But I'd love to hear what you think about all this. If you made it to this point in the video, drop a comment below saying Jesus is king. I'd love to see it. And uh, let's keep this conversation rolling. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring that notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a new video. If you like what I'm doing over here and you want to show a little extra love and support, make sure you go check out our website down below in the description section. That way you can get all the awesome shirts you see me wearing in every single video. They're all made by my beautiful wife. This one says created with a purpose. It has it on the chest and on the sleeve. It's based on Ephesians 2 verse 10. I like mine a little baggy, so it seems a little extra room to move and groove, but we got all different sizes is ranging from itty bitty extra small to big big and hefty 5x a bunch of colors different designs all of that i'm sure you can find something that you like or a great gift for someone that you love outside of that you can always join the gibson family here on youtube and become a member you can buy me a coffee you can join the patreon family all those links are down below as well by no means do you have to do any of that just showing up and allowing my freckle face to rant at you for a few minutes i am greatly appreciative i love y'all i cannot thank you enough until next time i'll be praying for you god Godspeed. I'm gone.